you want to prevent a an, a generative AI system f of, of being able to come up with code that could unleash a virus that could um, that could down financial systems around the world. That's a very tangible harm. But when it comes to issues like disinformation and misinformation, which, first of all, is not per se prohibited um, under uh, international human rights law, is in many ways protected under freedom of expression, that becomes much, it's, it's a much less tangible harm and a much more conditional one. Because if I have a, a, a discussion, quote unquote, with an AI chatbot, an issue, it might come up with, with it might come up with answers that are initially factually incorrect, but I, it's an iterative process. So I can prompt it and say, oh, have you thought about this? I might provide it with more information. Um, and so I think that that that's hugely important to keep in place and not just uh, have sort of a, a safety first approach, which will stunt our ability to, to learn from this iterative process 